Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. You join me in the carded room and I've got something to open. There's a few gaps on the wall because I've been reviewing stuff, but this has just been sort of delivered today by Hermes. Oh. It's always a bit touch and go with them, but I did make an arrangement with my guy. I said to him, you know, if I'm not in, please don't leave it on my front doorstep. And he's actually hidden it away this time. So inside here should be the new Disney what's it called now the mandalorian uh, monopoly so in there should be a retro collection of this guy i've just remembered i obviously i knew i had this one already it should be the mandalorian sorry the retro collection remnant stormtrooper i do beg your pardon i've forgotten i've already got two i forgot about this one here this is the uh chroma carbonized one yeah so i've got that so i should be able to have now three in a row on the wall it'll be going on this wall here this is blank that by the way if you want new around here used to be a window and it's not, a it's not a permanent thing, but it's, um, I boarded it up. So, if you go behind here, see, I just basically needed the wall space. So these are held together with magnets. I still haven't done anything with this. We are now on the 9th of December. I did this months ago, but I will eventually have cards all around this room. So on four walls, and then maybe the door. <laughs> so vintage collection heaven. So I look forward to getting this open now. I won't bore you with all the laughing around I shall just open it and then we'll have a look at the thing inside boom uh, you gotta love the Disney packaging very happy so it's in here somewhere what have we got just want to show you the whoa there it is I thought bloody hell look at that anyway it doesn't matter whatever I'm just more interested in the condition of the remnant stormtrooper there it is inside it includes retro collection if you want to know where you can get this i thought we could all buy it from our normal online retailers no this is from shop disney so if you want to get one of these i presume they'll, they'll still have some in stock but they are selling mandalorian monopolies elsewhere but some of them won't contain this so be careful what you buy so yeah retro collection does float me boat you know i'm a guy of the 80s and as you can see from the vintage collection here i like that packaging and everything so you know I'm collecting these to go with it as well, which is awesome. And I'm finding, again, if you are new around here, I'm putting them side by side. You see, we've got VOTC Luke there, modern figure with, well, that's even more modern, but it's done in the 80s style. I find they go really well side by side. We've got two Tarkins up there and I've got two layers there, retro and modern. This is modern vintage and retro chewy. I like to double them up like that. And then obviously down here, we've got a string of Luke Bespin's of all varieties, foil chase, regular, VATSC, and then of course the retro collection there. Oh, and then Leia Hoth there. So I love them, they really do well. I like it having a couple of the same type together. Powerful stuff. So there is the uh, packaging from the, it's very nice actually, it feels good. Um, it's not metal, it looks like it's metal. It's like a carbonite block. Everything's got something to do with carbonization, hasn't it? If it's even the, the style of a card back. Or just some reference to a block of carbonite. As you know, on the Razor Crest, spoiler alert, now destroyed, it has a carbon freezing chamber or a mini. Oh, look at that. That's awesome. Look at this. I do like that. That was my impression of. Well, Calrissian, did he survive? Yes, he's alive. And a perfect ever nation. He's all yours, Bounty Hunter. And as speaking of Bounty Hunters, he's back. Yes, he is. Sorry about the gaps on the wall. These gaps are because of figures I've brought down off the wall for my ongoing Quick Shot series, the Vintage Collection Quick Shot series. Enough babble. I'm going to open up the box. I'm really only going to show you anything of interest, plus I'm going to show you the uh, Remnant Stormtrooper. That's why you called. Bear with me. Boom. Just a few more things to show you. The back there of the car, of the car, nearly said card, force of habit, back of the box there. If you want to freeze frame that or whatever you want to do. So that is that. So that's all really good packaging that. I'm going to be keeping the game. Of all the three games I've got so far, that's the one that interests me the most. Although Monopoly usually ends in wars, no pun intended. But look at that. That's really good. Has that got a three dimensional feel? Yes, it has. So this cost 50 quid. So you get a good Monopoly game, it's a classic game. I've never ever played Monopoly other than tr the traditional one. Obviously, Monopoly itself has been updated, but obviously adjusted for inflation, I'm sure they have. I'm sure they must have done that. And also you can get themes, Star Wars, Harry Potter, no doubt. You know, I'm sure every franchise has its own version of Monopoly. 
but uh, I'm glad I finally have a Star Wars one, as opposed to the Huth game, which is just down there. Sorry about the mess. Because I opened that because it's got Luke Skywalker. Where is he? Retro Collection. There he is. Huth Luke. Huth Snowspeeder Luke you can get with the Huth game. And I also have Tarkin. You saw him before. Let me just go up to him again. Where is he? Sorry about the focus. He's right up there. So I've got two Tarkin side by side, the Vintage Collection and the Retro. Now they seem to be stuffing figures in games, that's obviously to sell the games, but the good thing about this one is I know that I'm going to, apart from that goddamn ding, look at the state of that. Come on, Disney. What you, what you doing? Um, I, I know I will have a go with this. I'll be really interested to play this. I've not had no inspiration to play the Tarkin game, the Death Star one, or the Hoth one, and no disrespect, it's just because I know nothing about the game. Maybe it's a good game. I should give it a go sometime. Look at these, these are nice pieces, man. Look at this. Fantastic. Is that a bust of Dooku? It can't be Dooku. It's Mandalorian. It'll be, um, what am I talking about, Dooku? You've got IG-11 there, Quill, Kara, Dune, Mando, the child. And that must be Moff Gideon. It has to be, doesn't it? It'll be Gideon. You have something that it belongs to me. Death Trooper, Storm Trooper. Funny why he's not white. Supposed to be in red. Ah, here we go, Moff Gideon. Got the flame trooper. Ah, that might be the flame trooper, the red. Anyway, whatever. Flame trooper. Yes, it is the flame trooper. Death trooper. Incinerator storm trooper. Again, I don't know. I'm sorry about this. If you've come by here to look at a really detailed review of this game, I apologize. I can't offer you that. What I can offer you is a look at this figure, which I'm more interested in. Look at this. Fantastic. Nicely done. I like the look of this. This is really good. This is the first time I've been happy with one of the games. Look at the look at the dice. It's got a real Beskar feel to it, hasn't it? I love that. It's funny, the front is obviously looks like carbonized Beskar. Maybe it's, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, um there's the cards there. Nice. Now, where the hell is this damn f oh, there he is! Finally. We're getting through to him now. Oh, I don't want that to fall off. God, they'll go everywhere. Excuse me. Here he is. One remnant stormtrooper. And he looks good, doesn't he? Fantastic. There's a lot of mess behind. There's stuff that, as, you, as I said before, needs to go on the wall. So it's just sort of parked on the floor for the minute. But look at that. Great. It's just a classic stormtrooper with weathering. They need to bring out a retro collection sand trooper. He would look like this. With an orange pauldron, of course. It's great, isn't it? Really nice. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut there and show it to you in a bit more detail, away from all this box and stuff. Join me. There it is. I'm going to keep the camera stationary so you can just drink it in. But yeah, nice. So we now have three, three remnant stormtrooper cards, which is insane because of the... You know, obviously the norm is two if you're going to have one retro, one vintage, but now we also have this carbonized action here. So it's funny, isn't it? And we're going to be getting more retros as well. We've got, you know, Quill to come. So this is the first retro collection Mandalorian card back I've come across. But yes, it's nice, isn't it? I do like, although I like to see variancy in card backs, as in, you know, multiple images. Let me show you what I mean by that. If we go up here, you see you've got the same card number with two different images. And I've always been an advocate for bringing back Luke Bespin on the alternative card back, which is the Peeping Luke. It's kind of like I've got, got a blue card back, that one. As opposed to that one again and again and again. Look at that. Look how many different variations we've got of it. Um, I do like, at the same time, I do like seeing a block of the same card, but obviously variants all in a row. Like all those TIE Fighters there, they're all different. Got return, revenge, multi-language, Canadian cards. So they look powerful all in a row. I do like that on my wall. So I'm gonna enjoy getting these guys together once I finally get this wall here is where I'm gonna put me Mando and Rogue One and stuff. So all in good time, leave that with me. Do check back if you are new around here, do subscribe. I will just give you a close-up look at the car back now. Do subscribe and you know, give I'm gonna be doing more room tours and such like coming up soon. I shall do it with the camera mounted to keep it still, and then also I shall um, also pan close to it as well. That's what I usually do. But very nice. He looks completely different in age, in how he's been weathered, I'm sorry, to the other two. 
But uh, I won't be opening him. I'm so sorry. Stay with me. You know, I'm sure somebody will be opening it. You know, Tim from Bosk's Bounty usually does all that, doesn't he? He's very good. But I shall give you a nice little close-up look at the card again. Retro Collection. Very nice. There's the figure there. Nice to see a classic Stormtrooper, isn't it? Always nice. Brilliant. What I'll do is I'll put him in a star case and say goodbye. But that's all I really want to do. Let's give you a close-up look. And the, the set looks amazing. The, the Monopoly looks great. Look at him. It looks like he's looks like rice pudding or something, doesn't he? <laughs> Not really being inclined to buy more than one remnant, really. I suppose you should really have about six, shouldn't you? But, you know. For a clean stormtrooper. Alrighty, so thank you very much for watching. I have been Only One Kenobi. Only One. If you are new around here, do subscribe. I think I've already said that, but I'll say it again. Tap the notification bell as well. Hit a like if you've enjoyed it. I do apologize for those wanting to see, you know, a figure loose or more of the game, but you know, really, <laughs> I bought the game because I wanted the figure, and you know, the game looks awesome, but I'm sure someone will be reviewing all the insides in more detail, but for me it's all about the Remnant Stormtrooper. But in this case, as opposed to feeling a little bit like, I've now got a board game I don't want, at least with that I do want Monopoly, I do like it, although as I say, it does cause a lot of conflict within my family. <laughs> very, very tense moments there in the past, but you know, it's all good at the end of the day. Thank you for watching. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. This is the way. This is the way. This is the way. Out.